This lady likes to bring her dog out here, and she saw this head coming out of the cattails on the other side of the pond, and she decided, you know, call FWC and get this thing removed. Hi. How you doing? Are you guys the trappers? Yeah. All right. Hi, I'm Paul. Caroline, nice Hi. to meet you. This is Gertie. Gertie, what's up, Gertie? This is Jimmy. How you doing? What's going on? I come here every day to let her swim, um, and today I threw the ball in. She hesitated, and I looked across the pond, and I saw what she saw. It was an alligator. I think he was looking to come after her. And it actually swam with the dog? Oh, yeah. Today was definitely a close call between my dog and the gator. I, I was definitely pretty scared. How big is this thing? I'm not really sure. Um, How big's the head? Maybe this big. Yeah, that's, that's big enough to eat the dog. Is that water clear or muddy or? No, it, it's crystal clear, and that's why, that's why I bring her here, because I don't want her to get dirty. Right. All right, um, you want to show us where you saw this thing? Yep, come on. You're talking to me or the dog? The dog. The homeowner seemed to like the gator, but definitely doesn't want it here with the dog in the water. That gator's big enough to rip that dog into pieces. Wow, this is clear. Yeah, I'm just going to walk around the edges. I'm going to check the grass and stuff, see if I see anything. All right, I'll grab my mask and get in. You're going to get in the water? If he comes at me, I've got a little catch pole with a rope on it, so. Oh, a rope and a catch pole. Good luck. Paul was getting ready. I took a quick look around the pond. Um, pretty clear. Uh, I saw the edges, a lot of rock. But I'm not seeing the alligator down there. Nothing. If I get in quiet over here, might be able to creep up around me. Yeah. <laughs> when Paul went into the water, her dog went nuts. <laughs> the dog wanted to jump in the water with Paul. Not a good idea, because we think there's a pretty big alligator in that little pond. Gertie, hey, hey. You know, I really don't feel safe with her out here. Can I go put her away? Yeah, go. Hey. Yeah, so I swim back over to where the, the dog had last been in the water. And swam down about 15 feet, and there's a little ledge, and it was just sitting right underneath it. That dog had popped in. Uh, I don't think it would have stood a chance. I had to go down and noose him, but I had all these spatter docks against my, my catch pole. I was able to get it on him, and as I started pulling, it started shaking and going crazy. I kind of waited for a second. I wanted him to calm down and make sure I had that noose good and deep. You know, as soon as Paul handed me the ropes, I started pulling them. Paul jumped out of the way. Right away, this alligator fell big. Pull them both right now. You take one, I got one. Ended up being just a real big eight, nine foot alligator. Got him away from the water. Hope you don't like spatter ducks. Didn't take long for the alligator to stand up at Paul and actually jumped at him. Oh, I'm going back in there. He spent a lot of energy in the water, so I didn't expect him to do a whole lot on land, but you know, this gator had other plans. And he went nuts. You still want to make sure before you jump a hot gator that it doesn't have too much in him. It was one of those gators that's going to make one or two good jumps at you, and uh, he's going to be done. Nice. This is a, a gator that was definitely capable of killing that dog, no problem. So uh, definitely want to you know, get this thing out of here and uh, get him back to the park. So what's going to happen with him now? If you want to see him, he'll be at Holiday Park. I'd love to. That's awesome. It's pretty cool to know that this alligator is going to be practically down the street from me. So maybe one day I can just stop by and see how he's doing and say hi and thank you to Paul and Jimmy again. He loves the water. I guess, huh? Good girl. Well, thank you. Have Bye, a good one. All right, see you later. I'll see you. Thanks again. You know, as soon as we get this gator out of here, the gator's big enough to rip that dog into pieces. So uh, it's good we get the dog a gator-free pond again, and uh, gator goes to a good place. After we catch these nuisance alligators, we bring them back to our home base, which is Everglades Holiday Park. Oh, he's so cute and small. Yeah. Oh, my god.
This is where people come to see alligator wrestling and the gator boys. Now you'll notice his eyes are on top to the sides of the head, which means he can't see anything in his mouth. Oh. These shows help pay for things like food, medical supplies, and any other things that alligators may need. Last trick we're going to do is what's called a face-off. Oh. I was doing some gator shows at Holiday Park today, and I noticed one of our audience members was a girl from one of our nuisance gator calls yesterday. Thanks for coming out, guys. We really do appreciate it. And if you have any questions, stick around and ask. Thank you. I know she said she wanted to stop by and see the gator we caught out of her pond. But to be honest, a lot of people say that. So I'm surprised she even showed up. And I'm really glad she did. Hey, what's going on? Not much. How are you? All right, I didn't think you'd show up. I told you I would. All right. I've always had a passion for the water. And uh, I've been fishing with my brother for as long as I can remember. So after seeing the guys handle that gator, I was definitely hooked. And I wanted to learn more. Come to check on your boy? Yeah. Yeah, that's him right there, sitting up. See his back up? Oh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, he's a big boy. Well, if you keep him here, I can come visit him every day. You can come visit him every day. Well, if you guys need help around. We've been really short-staffed lately, and this girl, Caroline, seems to be really interested in the rescue. It's not often we get someone like that that wants to help out, so I think we'll give her a shot. Well, I could use a new volunteer. I would be willing to learn. I definitely want to spend more time here. Uh, the Gator Boys have a really cool mission, and Paul seems like a really caring guy. It's not a matter of if you get bit, it's when. You, you cool at that risk? Yes. OK. You want to volunteer today? Um, I guess so. I got some time. Everybody starts at the bottom. And unfortunately for Trey, he's the only one here right now, so he's doing the bottom work. But uh, if you want to have her do the bottom work, okay. she's talking about being a new volunteer. I say we just throw her into the fire. OK. I'm Trey, by the way. Nice to meet you, Trey. I'm Caroline. All right. Have fun. He'll take good care of you. All right. Well, this is going to be your tool for today. Thanks. What do you know about gator poop? <laughs> Not much. You know, all sorts of people offer to volunteer here. Um, most of them leave when they realize they're going to spend a lot more time with a rake than with an alligator. We'll see how this one turns out. Good luck. Have fun. Thanks.